Hey, I'm Danny. I'm hiking the PCT from Mexico to Canada. I'm 1,400 miles in uh, with a skip of a, of a fire closure of about 150 miles. And uh, yeah, today we're figuring out how to get out of Bernie. <laughs> All right, I actually see blue sky and clouds here in Bernie. But when I look this way, we're back to smoke. Okay, so here's where we're at. Uh, we're in Bernie. Uh, at the church, we've got, I don't know, 50, 40 hikers. A bunch of people rolled out yesterday. They went 17 miles and turned around because it was too smoky. So a lot of people have different opinions of what to do today. Some people are actually went and looked at the sky like I just did and said, hey, it doesn't look so bad. I see a blue sky. Maybe I should hike. Um, and whereas yesterday they said it was more orangey. So, uh, and other people are just gonna find a way to hitch all the way around to above the fires. So, or Mount Shasta. At the same time, people are saying, well, uh, Mount Shasta might be just as bad. So, eh, don't know. Right now, my plan is I have laundry and a haircut. So I'm doing that first. <laughs> So maybe this afternoon-ish, I'll start talking about how to get out of here or whether or not to spend another night. I kind of don't want to spend another night. Um, yeah, and basically I'm going to see what the group's doing and just try and jump on board somewhere. If we have to, like, rent a car or something and I'll pitch in, I'm totally down for that. So, we'll see. So now I'm walking off to do laundry. Uh, they open at 8. I'm totally gonna get a haircut today. I've been wanting one for a while. They open at nine, I think. And uh, I just found out there's a bunch of hikers who are just gonna hike out of here, go to Bernie Falls and see how it looks. So we'll see how that goes. Actually, I can see, looks like two of them trying to get a hitch right here. See them back there. So yeah. This is a tiny little town now here. Let me show you around. So this is the Chinese place that everyone told me there are no Chinese there working. It's Chinese food by white people. So here's all the lodging. Bernie Falls. Bernie Falls Lodging. Uh, Shasta Pines Motel. There's another motel down there. All of them are full. Uh, I don't understand how or why. I'm not sure why all the motels are full, but it's why I ended up at the church last night. And it's why all the other hikers ended up at the church last night. So it works out good for us because it puts us all in the same location. By the way, the hiker prom was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was uh, just uh, basically round the bases between dancing to music, hanging outside and talking, hanging in the kitchen, playing foosball, playing all sorts of like air hockey and cards and just a great time around 10 o'clock they had to turn the music off and they all basically went down to the bowling alley which is right here so yeah the bowling alley was the post prom location apparently I didn't go though I, I was like I'm I'm getting over being sick I'm just gonna go to bed and get a full night's sleep over here we've got the main attraction McDonald's <laughs> We've got a sporting store, we've got a Rite Aid, and I think there's like a grocery just up ahead. There's a restaurant here. On the other end of town behind me, there was a Safeway. And that's, that's the majority of Bernie, right there. Ooh, Subway. Oh, but there it is, the laundry mat. Wash started. I'm gonna go get an omelet. Let's see how this place does. So the last two towns I've tried to get a haircut in have not gone through. <laughs> in Truckee, uh, this 
cars go by. Yeah, in Truckee, they were all like 50 bucks and they were all booked out. Like I said, okay, fine, I'll pay 50 bucks. When's your next opening? And they're like three days from now. So I didn't get a haircut in Truckee. And the haircut place here is closed on Sundays. Womp womp. So, yeah, maybe the, the next town will have a haircut. <laughs> All right, I caught a hitch back to the trailhead with Ginger Pony, who's right there. And uh, also I figured out this uh, whole long sleeve shrug that I made. I just stuck it under the short sleeve and it no longer looks like a disaster. Um, great. So the plan today, <laughs> uh, I'm resupplied for four days. Uh, the next town, D Dunsmere, I think, should be four days away. That's 90 miles, so it's like 25 miles a day. Uh, we're going to stop at the falls today. Uh, it's eight miles to the falls, and it's a little sh offshoot to get there, or spur, that's called. And uh, yeah, so anything I get today is kind of bonus for that 90 miles that I'm going. Um, I'm trying to think of anything other... No, I think that's all I got right now. Uh, yeah, I... Oh, that's what I wanted to say. As far as, like, how, how and why I got sick, um, I'm thinking it was a summer sausage that was in my bag just a little bit too long before I opened it. But I ditched all of the... Anything meat in my bag. I just ditched it. And also my water bottles, which I've had for a while. I, I've cleaned them, but... Who knows? So I ditched all my water bottles. I have all brand new water bottles. I have all brand new food supplies. Um, specifically, any anything that was meat related is new. So I'm, I'm feeling good about that. Uh, Health-wise, I feel like 95%. Like, I'm just a little bit tired. I'm not super hungry. I ate breakfast this morning and ended up not finishing it. I boxed it and brought it back to the church and uh, ate it again later and I wasn't even hungry. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna eat this. I, I know I should, I need calories right now. So yeah, so we've got some smoke but everyone's thinking we should be able to just hike through. So I'd say half the people hitched to, to Mount Shasta and half the people just started hiking. So I'm just gonna start hiking. So here we go. I've been walking through a lot of desert-ish kind of sun and now we're in some shade. Let's hope it lasts for a while. I'm about halfway to the junction for Bernie Falls. Well, I was really hoping for some water, but not here. Darn. I figured building a giant bridge meant there'd probably be water here, but I guess not. I've got plenty. I just wanted to dip my shirt in. It's like 97 degrees today. Maybe I'll just do it myself in a Ziploc. All right, finally a campground with, yeah, working spigot. All right, I just resupplied with some nice cold water from a tap. I've got half a mile to the turn off to Bernie Springs, or not, not Bernie Springs, Bernie Falls, which is a state park. It says that it's uh, a quarter mile off the trail and it's like 126 foot or something like that, waterfall. So I'm gonna go check that out here. And then back to the trail, up ahead in six miles is another water source and some camping. So that's probably gonna be my goal for tonight. Oh wow, there's a dam here. Wow, the valley just really opened up. And there's a river down there. around back and away 
Pretty beautiful terrain today. All right, so it's eight o'clock. I went 13 and a half miles. Uh, I found a good spot. Actually, I found some water that was really great. And then went another 0.3 and set up a tent. Um, but it was so hot today. Like, I don't know what the deal is. I, I've been through a desert and I was really surprised at the heat today, even in the shade. So I think it was just muggy. Uh, so much so that after I set up my tent, I actually walked back to the water source and got two more liters of water just because I'm expecting to drink it all tonight. Because I, I'm expecting it to be hot while sleeping. So that's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, uh, I've got about 77 miles from here to the next town, which is either going to be, what is it, Dunsmuir or Mount Shasta. Uh, you actually could go you know, east or west on that one. Uh, I haven't decided yet. But 77 miles is no big deal. It's like three days uh, if I'm doing 25s, which I was kind of planning on doing. I only brought four days worth of food, so I'm either going to do it in four days or less. 